President, it's the middle of December, and we're still hanging out in D.C. We're actually past the date that we were supposed to not be here any longer according to our official calendar, but there's work to be done and we continue to be able to do the work. It's a contentious body, and at times a contentious nation. I was with a group of folks yesterday for an early morning breakfast. As we prayed together, one of them looked at me and said, I need a little Prince of Peace right now. So can I just for a moment in this chamber pause and just do a quick reminder of what's coming over the next couple of weeks? Not about the heat of battle in this room, but where we are in this season. Reading from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 says, For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. And there will be no end to the increase of his government or of his peace. It sounds like this in Luke chapter 2. Now in those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that a census should be taken of all the inhabited earth. This was the first census taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone was on his way to register for the census, each to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee to the city of Nazareth, to Judea, the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the family of David, in order to register along with Mary, who was engaged to him and was with child. And while they were there, the days were completed for her to give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And in the same region, there were shepherds staying out in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terribly frightened. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all people. For today, in the city of David, there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This will be the sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels had gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds began saying to one another, Let's go straight to Bethlehem and see that that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So they came in a hurry, and they found their way to Mary and Joseph and the baby as he lay in the manger. And when they had seen this, they made known the statement which had been told them about this child. And all who heard it wondered at the things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary treasured these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds went back, glorifying and praising God, for all they had heard and seen, because it was just as had been told to them. A little peace on earth would be helpful to this body and to our nation in this day. Merry Christmas to you.